It was never about the girl. Not the possession of her love, not the warmth of her hand. Early August, she introduces me to the catcher in the ride du jour. Well, a passive introduction. She is reading, I watch her. I buy the book, read it. The weather, hot, the fields, dry. The girl prays, not for rain, but for a sequel. She yearns for her heart to be ripped open, torn asunder, rendered. Oh, anything, please. Oh, not by me, by the next book. A great awakening. I want to be the Salinger du jour, to rip, tear, render hearts, too numerous to count, definitely in the thousands. Great awakening, too. Actually, I want to be the words in the story, devoured. Not everyone can write. We settle for sex. Sex is the available portal to creation. What's it going to be like? At school, we, everyone with a mouth, talk about it, around it, like caged prepositions awaiting our verb. What is it going to be like? These are our terms. Make love, have sex, do it. We use bases for codes. There's some discrepancy about what third base is, hand to genitals, mouth to genitals. It slash sex slash making love is too obvious, too rigorous, too fumbling and incomplete. It does not meet my expectations. It is like making robots foxtrot. We act like particles when we should be waves. We are solid where we should be liquid. We are gaseous at the wrong time. We go to the prom because it is a reason to do it on the same night that everyone else is trying or avoiding trying. With luck or by force too soon, a girl becomes a woman. In our youth, we set fires. What else was there to do? It's my turn to be the flame. I'm old enough to burn. I forget about sex, remember it, then forget once more. I practice unremembering and ably dismember myself before the glass my own shards reflect and refract until I am separate from myself and observer. I would like to ask you, stranger, when you undress me with your eyes, could you go further so that when you strip me of my clothes, you are looking through my skin, my extraordinary whiteness, my privilege, heritage, and errors across this temporary shelter en route to the next body to be parceled out to ant, shooting star, daffodil, fields of wheat, destination unknown. Back to my skin. Could you gently peel back the layers? Watch my armor clatter to the ground. Please don't look away. I want your gaze. Steal yourself. Peel again. The next layer of truly bare flesh, the pink meat beneath. Come further in. Past tendons, calcium deposits, wade through blood, sink into the waters of my internal ocean, make a home for yourself within me. Deep, deep within me, through paths of disappointed yearnings, unexpressed longings, a grocery list of things I need, desires to be met, that room, that is the room of masks, socialite, tramp, Bully, believer, seductress, tyrant, radical, thief, humanitarian, beggar, hero, and class clown. Come deeper still, past the border guards, the dogs who sniff, the burning desert sunlight, and enter the chambers of my marrow. Do not pull the door closed behind you. Address the invitations. Your family may take up residence in my bones. I have room for all of you. Who are you, America? That's the question Center Stage asked when we commissioned these 50 monologues. Want to learn more? Keep watching.